Hello, everyone. Again, this is Roy Philippos here from Philadelphia. Uh, aspiring artist, philosopher, investor, and entrepreneur. Uh, it is December here, 2022. This is going to be Failed IPOs 2 by Roy Philippos. And I want to continue where I left off there. My last video got sort of cut off there. Um, so let me go back and just feature some more. I think it's important to give, try to give some more insight. I'm looking at these headlines, right? <laughs> sometimes I look at them, sometimes I don't. But uh, where did I stop off around amplitude? Yeah, we went that. So let's go over some that I thought about considering and I decided not to. Um, uh, let's, go, let's go into Toast. Toast was a restaurant IPOS, uh, a restaurant POS, which is basically a, pay, a point of sale. And, you know, initially I think it was around $60 or so when it came out. Um, I remember, okay, around 50 I remember I passed on it. And I remember I was on Twitter too. It was just that I think there was really no voting control and they, you know, they give themselves a plenty of stock and compensation. But basically, they have a POS system, like restaurant cash register system, and they want to make it standard for pretty much all the independent restaurants out there. I said, okay, fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, let's go ahead and click on Toast here. You can see the young management here in the 80s and some earlier, earlier folks. Nice compensation, 300 grand a year. They get opportunity, right? Hey, can I build a restaurant POS? Not that I'd want to, but I'm pretty sure if I set a business plan in, I wouldn't get funded for anything. Yeah, why? Why would I? Um, you know, <laughs> VC money goes to certain people, and I guess I'm not in that certain crowd. Um, built for making your restaurant better. That's beautiful. That's great. Seventy-four thousand restaurants, restaurants love toast. Oh, that's cool. Because before it was around fifty-five thousand or something. So restaurants are adopting toast. Okay, no more point in sale. Mm, all right, that's that's good. Um, point of sale was just the beginning. Con contactless ordering. Okay, handhelds. One line order. All right. Okay. Okay. Just because you offer something doesn't mean everybody uses it. Okay. That goes pretty much uh, for everything. But this company was supposed to take over and be dominant. Now, I remember one of my local restaurants actually had toast. And uh, they went for that. And um, But not everyone I visited. You know, are they going to be a standard? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, I passed this company. I did my initial analysis. And I might have done a little bit more than that, but not like a full analysis. Again, if you don't pass my initial analysis, there's no point in doing a full analysis. Because again, I'm, I'm good at looking at something, whether it has value today, will have future value tomorrow. And to me, I thought it was expensive. You know? Um, I mean, you can tell you in the last year, you were four, price sale 17. Even right now, it's at nine. Um, let's see what we got. Negative margins? Hmm. 50% growth? Okay, we got, we got revenue growth at least. I mean, $2.4 billion company, $10 billion market cap. Okay. Uh, cash is there, $1 billion. Debt, $94 million. Okay. Um, I mean, it looks okay. Maybe, maybe Toast makes it. I mean, the 52 days. Ooh, hit low 12. Okay. Let me look at the chart here. Can Toast make it? Maybe. Maybe they can. Um, but I said no to it. And again... You have in, you have chains that have their own systems. You have independents that really don't don't really care to upgrade. You also have competition. There's other competition out there. Square is out there. 
um, other vendors are out there. So Toast may or may not get all the market share they want. Okay. Um, I, I passed and I still pass. You know, I thought about adding this to AX growth as well, and, and I did not. And that's a good thing because I would have lost money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, but at least they bottomed out a little bit. Who knows? Maybe again, Toast may come back. We'll see. We'll see. You know, and I'm not here to, you know, put down the company. I'm just saying, again, I'm an investor. I'm, I'm coming in. I'm the one taking the risk. Not you inside, guys. Not the VCs. Not the executives. Not the sh early shareholders. You know, they get to cash out. You know, they get their 10x or whatever. And you got your executives who get nice salaries and bonuses and uh, stock options. You know. But that is toast. Okay. Again, another failed IPO. And some people may not agree and may not have, be happy with me saying that. Let me just check the holders here. Again, this is Yahoo. I'm using Yahoo. See, Tire Global. <laughs> I never Tire Global buying this company. Okay. Good number of Vanguard funds in there. Um, Tire Global. They, they didn't have a good year either. I think, were they down 50% for 22? Ouch. I, I believe. I don't, I'm not sure. I have to take a look at it. Um, but yeah, you know, again, Toast is something that I passed on. I still pass. Let's go to the next one here. Just because you have ambition is that you want to grow and be number one in your market doesn't mean it happens for you. Okay. What we got? Um, let me feature this company, App Harvest. Um, I looked at this company. Of course, I did my quick analysis. I said no to it. But it's a farm. <laughs> who, who doesn't like a farm? You know, I mean, it's, farm is a good thing. You ever, you ever been on the farm? You ever see the plants and stuff and you see all the different things? I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. I always thought farms are kind of cool. Um, it came out around, what, $10? And it went up to almost 40 something $30. I'm sorry I had to do it. You know, again, you get you get the analysts will come out and upgrade the stocks. Oh, the stocks were ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars. The analysts get a free pass if they're wrong. You notice that? Um, but App Harvest is a farming company, it's supposed to be a next generation farming company. Um, let's click on the profile so I can show you what it is. Again, I consider this company to be part of AX Growth. I did not. Um, young management. Hey, nicely paid million dollar. Can I can I start a farm up? I have an idea for a next generation farm. Can I do it? No, I wouldn't get the funding. Again, this guy here, Jonathan Webb, younger dude, eighty five. Looks like he's on what thirty five something, thirty seven or I guess thirty seven. He gets to build, um, you know. His farm. I actually sent a message to this peoples, and uh, I asked him. I asked him a lot of questions about the business model and all, and I didn't get a reply back. <laughs> you know, because again, I'm considered buying in, and and I'm considered buying in like when the stock was like maybe five dollars or something. Maybe maybe it was a year ago. I didn't see five. <laughs> It's a good thing I didn't buy in. I took a nice loss. Okay. And the damn thing is down. Um, was it five, four, 80%? 80. Anything past 80, it doesn't make a difference. You know, um, again, let me let me show the company. It looks cool. I think the company that's going in, 500 employees, at least that's what, that's what it says there. Um, Oh, wow, this looks cool. I like it. So, what is the problem? What is the problem with App Harvest? I mean, we need food, right? 
we need quality food. We have a quality food problem in America. We don't have, you know, sustainable food supply. In fact, I give a challenge, which I should just make another video. I give a challenge to Silicon Valley. Build a sustainable food supply. Okay? I'll, I'll work on it. Can I do that? I'll write a, a mission plan. You know, building a, a sustainable, to build a sustainable food supply. That's going to be high quality and cheap. You know, easy to make, easy to deliver. You know, can grow. Can I do that? Can I get like, I don't know, a million dollars for a startup? Five million for a startup? I mean, we got multi billion dollar companies out there in Silicon Valley. Can I get that? I'm going to build a sustainable food supply. Something that we can eat like all day and sustainable water, sustainable you know, food. We have a food problem in America, right? I'm not going to get it. They're not going to give it to me. They'll give, us, they'll give it to other people. They'll give it to accomplished failures. Right? Right. And that's what that's what we have here, right? Plans for the purpose we are producing for a better world. Again, good idea. Good initiative. Good, you know, good intent. But does it happen? Maybe, maybe not. Um... Could App Harvest turn things around and you know go go up to ten dollars or so? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow, this website doesn't support camera use. Oh damn! How did you block that joint? Oh well. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, App Harvest. <laughs> you saw that? That's the first time I've seen that. That's a Vimeo screen record. And that part said, no, you can't record me. I'm special. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to feature your company. All right, Jonathan Webb and team. I mean, you got funded. Now, let's check out the stats, really. It's always fun to check out the stats. You got a company again. $650 million in market cap. Down to $77 million. Price to sales, 80 I told you, that's that new model that was like going crazy. It started to collapsing pretty much the end of uh, 21. Okay, no profits or something, no, no profit margin at least. Return on assets, the margins are negative. Ooh, quarterly revenue growth, 3% negative. At least you got 13 million revenue. Um, the debt level is high, cash is low. Free cash is negative. Oosh. This company needs some serious financing. I want to assume it's going to get more debt. Um, 100 million outstanding in shares. Short interest is kind of high, 22%. Yeah. I mean, maybe it goes out of business. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe a white knight buys it. The company takes it private. And that's all. You know what I mean? This company went public. Okay. Yeah, I know. Hey, good, good intentions. I mean, pretty much all companies do. But... Not every company can be successful as a public trading entity. It doesn't work. Okay? It doesn't work for everyone. And that's one of the things you see. And that's one of the things you see, like, over time. Okay? So I've been doing this since 97. You know, I've been seeing all these companies. Left, like, you know, I, I bought into these companies, like, years ago. Like, you know, different companies. And I would lose my money. I'm like, hey, what's going on here? I thought I'm a shareholder, but I'm gonna make money. Every business model is different. Every you know, every every business is different, and the models can be different, and the environment can be different, and the outlook can be different, the competition can be there and not be there, and like a lot of different factors. You know, there's, there's like a hundred things that have to go right for a company to be successful. And if you only have 99 out of the 100, you can you can fail. Okay, so can this turn around? Maybe. I would like to get some groceries from App Harvest. You know. Do they have bananas? <laughs> or apples? How about some apples and bananas? I don't think they sell that. Are they selling tomatoes? Tomatoes are bad for you, man. That's like, um, they give you heartburn when you get older. <laughs> I'm just saying. I could build a sustainable food supply. You know, I would like to see that. Because we, we could definitely use 
better quality, cheaper food in market. You know, that's, you know, made here in the U.S., you know, product in the United States. But unfortunately, we don't have that per se. But maybe we will. Maybe we will. And again, at Harvest, for the shareholders who lost money, yeah, it hurts. It hurts. You know what I mean? It hurts. We'll go on to the next one here. Um, these are some of the uh, old AX growth companies. I did have the FANG stocks in before. They all faltered. It was good because I got out of it of a profit. I got out of it before they faltered. You know, they were just, they kind of grew too big and things like that happen. Um, and I have some other companies too. Um, let's do Snowflake. Everybody loves Snowflake for some reason. I don't know why, but I I looked at it, as you know. And again, I considered it for X growth. So 